What is going on guys? Welcome back to Valencia Career Mode Episode 3. I am the Bottle Rocket Manager of Valencia CF and let's get this board meeting underway. So, my scouts came back to me with two strikers that fit the criteria that I just mentioned in the previous episode. First one is Danny Welbeck from Arsenal, 24 years old, English. Be a good addition to the squad. And Daniel Sturge, the other one from Liverpool, 25 years old. Though both are pretty young. Um, if the Lewandowski deal falls through, then uh, yeah, we'll consider going after uh, these two. Alright, so now on to other business. And, uh... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. I have a phone call here. Yeah. All right, you got you got to make it quick. I'm in the middle of a board meeting here. Check. Don't even check my email. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, dude. Dude. All right. Fine. I'll check my email. All right, fine. I'll check my. All right, I'll check my email. Just stop talking to me, dude. All right. Sorry, guys. That was my assistant on the phone. Apparently, he wants me to check my email. So you know what? I'm gonna check my email real quick. I'll I'll be back. I'll be back with you guys in a second. And holy shit! Okay, guys, you remember those uh, striker plans I just told you about? Scrap them. Because we ended up signing Lewandowski. He agreed to our contract. So we put the pen to paper and Lewandowski officially a part of Valencia CF. That means we can get rid of Negrado. And, oh my god, fuck my life. Why? Why does the previous manager have to be an ass? But apparently I can't put Le Negrado on transfer because he just joined the team. I can only release him from his contract or put him on a two year loan. None of which are really good options. I'm gonna have to figure out something. As you may have known, Lazio agreed to our offer of 15 million sterling for Lucas Biglia. He turned down our initial contract, so I gave him an extra 10 grand a week, made him a crucial first team player, and for three years, hopefully he'll sign with that. Marseille comes back to us with a counter offer of 13 million sterling. Are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? No. But I'm willing to negotiate, so 18 million, and that's my final offer. I came up with an alternative idea for my striker situation, and since I can't get rid of Negrado, I'm going to do the next best thing. I'm going to put Paco Alisser on loan. Now, you guys may not agree with this, but first of all, Alisser will not be seeing any playing time. I want to give this guy some playing time, so yeah, we're going to put him on a one-year loan. Lucas Biglia accepts our contract. So we made the board happy, got a CDM, two big signings in a few days. That's great. We get a transfer offer for Pablo Piatti from Aston Villa for 14.5 million sterling. Need a lot more than that, Aston Villa. 26 million and you can have them. But I am willing to negotiate. However, Marseille is not serious. No, they're not budging on their $13 million, million sterling asking price. So, you know what? Screw you, Marseille. We're rejecting your offer. And as soon as I reject that offer from Marseille, AS Monaco comes to me with an offer for them. $12.5 million sterling. Once again, we're going to counter offer with $20 million, But I am willing to negotiate if they're serious enough. 
So as Monaco comes back, and apparently they are serious enough, they counteroffer with 17 million sterling. I think I can get a little bit more for them, so I'm going to counteroffer with 18.5, see if they, they want to take that. Alright, so then we get another uh, option for our winger criteria, and his name is Markel Sacieda. You know, 27 year old right wing from Athletic Bilbo. Well, it could be an option, but as for right now, I'm going to go after Romain Amuma. Aston Villa counter offers for 21 million sterling for Pablo Piatti. It looks like they are serious enough to get, to get him. So I think I could get a little bit more. So I counter offer for 24 million and see if they want to take that. A.S. Yeah, St. Antine comes back to us about our inquiry for Ram Hamuma. Uh, they want 14.5 million sterling for Hamuma. I think I can get him for less. So we put 8 million plus Rodrigo to Paul. See if they bite on that. We get an offer from Borussia Dortmund for Jose Gaye for 12.5 million sterling. Gaye is a key player for me so it's gonna be a no-brainer to reject this offer on the spot not interested in selling guy a. so as Monaco not budging on their 17 million dollar offer that's fine we can accept that that's more than enough for what I want from him let's get this Rodrigo deal done my scouts come back to me with two right backs that fit my defensive minded criteria the first one Elvaro Arbiel, I uh, hope I spelled that right, and uh, Aisa Mondi. I'm natural, I'm not interested in a 32 year old right back, so Mondi is the obvious choice here. We're going to look into scouting him a little bit more, see what my scout comes back to me with. Aston Vila not budging on their 21 million sterling offer, that's fine, we will accept that. All right, we get two loan offers. First one for Fran Villalba. I mean, he's a 61 overall, we're gonna accept that. Two year loan, hopefully he gets better. Second one for Paco Alasur. You guys are probably not gonna agree with this, but hey, he's gonna get some playing time at Stoke City, so, and it's gonna give me $60,000 worth of wages, so we're gonna pull the trigger on it. All right, so San Yantin accepts our offer for Hamuma. We're going to offer him his asking pr contract of 90000 a week. Make him an important first team player for three years. And hopefully he signs with us. Alright, so Pablo Piatti sold to Aston Villa for $21 million, And the board gives me $18 million for, for my transfer budget. However, the same cannot be said for Rodrigo as talks between him and AS Monaco broke down. Because he is not willing to relocate. My scouts came back to me with two more uh, bright backs. Oh, Lukas Pitschek from Borussia Dortmund, 30 years old, and Pablo Zabaleta from Manchester City. And I'm not going to lie, Zabaleta kind of interests me a little bit. Despite being 30 years old, he has a really high defensive rating, so we're going to inquire about Zabaleta and leave it at that. Manchester City comes back to us about our Zabaleta inquiry. They want 17.5 million for him. Romain Hamuma accepts our contract offer. So our pursuit for a, for a winger will be officially over. We get a loan offer for Zahibo. No brainer. Bradford City can have him for two years. That's fine with me. And we get a transfer offer from Wolfsburg for Shikodrin Mustafi. 23.5 million. Mustafi is very valuable to me, so if they want Mustafi, they're gonna have to pay up big time. So I counter offer for 36 million. 36 million, you can have Mustafi. And Wolfsburg counters back to us with 31 million. This was a really hard one for me to uh, decide on, so. I mean, this put me in, a, in quite a spot here because Wolfsburg offered the perfect amount. I mean, Mustafi's young, he's really good right now, but 31 million means Wolfsburg's serious. 
and I can always find another center back. I think that has the potential to be great. So we end up pulling the trigger on this Mustafi deal. Uh, Mustafi ends up being sold for $31 million to Wolfsburg. And $26.5 half million of that gets added to my transfer budget. I am actually going to go after Zabaleta. I am going to initially offer $13 million for, for him. See if Manchester City wants to bite on that. I get an offer from Swansea City for Diego Alves. $16 million. Alves is still pretty good, so I'm going to offer $25 million and see if Swansea City wants to and take that. Manchester City says our transfer offer is unacceptable, so I up it by a couple million for Zabaleta and see if that's good enough for them. With the sale of Piatti and selling uh, Rodrigo De Paul to uh, St. Etienne, I'm going to look for a loft mid for her insurance. So I get two players that fit my criteria. The third one I'm not even going to look at because the, the other two that I my scouts came back to me with are Marco Royce and Alexis Sanchez. So we're going to end up inquiring about the both of them and see what their respective teams want for them. My scouts came back to me about Mondi, the 23-year-old right back from Stade de Times and he look good. So we're going to wire about Mondi. Arsenal wants 65 million for Alexis Sanchez. Borussia Dortmund wants 60.5 million for Marco Royce. We're going to make offers for Sanchez and Royce. We're going to make the same offer for both teams, which is 45 million plus Diego Alves. We get a transfer offer from Lazio for Daniel Parejo. 20.5 million they want. That is insulting. He is worth way more than that. I counter offer the 36 million. Stad the Rhymes wants 13 million for us. Aisa Mandi. I think I can get him for cheaper than that. We're gonna we're gonna go with nine million. See if they want. See if they bite on that. Borussia Dortmund accepts our offer for Marco Royce. Arsenal does not, which makes our decision a whole lot easier. Swansea City wants to offer 18 million for her Alves. Kind of puts me in a predicament. So I sit on the Alves offer. And Manchester City finally accepts our bid for Zabaleta. However, Marco Royce is going to be the bigger priority. We're going to offer him 210,000 a week. He initially is asking for 190. I know better than to offer the minimum for a player like Royce. So 210,000 a week is what we're going to offer for four years and be a crucial first team player, obviously. Hopefully he accepts that. As for Zabaleta, we're going to put in an offer of his minimum asking price of 100 grand a week for three years and crucial first team player. All right, so that is all the moves that we have made, and hopefully we get a response back from Marco Royce to join the team. So that'll be it for this really long board meeting. Make sure you subscribe for more great manager career mode action, and I will see you in the next episode where the season begins. Until then, keep calm and bring the madness.